Let's be honest, there were a lot of people who were dissatisfied with 1-2 Switch. Unfortunately, when a developer, even a great one like Nintendo, commits to packing multiple games into the same space that would normally fit a single title, 9 times out of 10, the game comes out feeling rushed and with little depth. But that isn't always the case, as I found out this week with Mastiff's 13-1 game collection volume 1. No points for a catch title, unfortunately. This is a grab bag of fun mini games all set around a globe trotting theme, but only in the very loosest sense. Whether you're a rabbit hopping up platforms a la Doodle Jump, or a warrior monkey firing balls in a chain in the style of Zuma, 13-1 Game Collection Volume 1 has taken a range of well-known game types and given them a fresh coat of paint. My personal favourite example of their approach is a game in the style of Snake that has been adapted for multiplayer fun. As so many of the games in this collection have, this means that I was able to get myself and three friends playing Snake competitively, which made my inner 10 year old Nokia user jump for joy. Each game has been polished up to a mirror shine with smooth animations and catchy in-game sound that's sure to get you in the mood for arcade action. Everyone I got to play was initially skeptical for the same reasons I spoke about in my opening, yet after a game or two they couldn't wait to see what the next game had in store. This was further improved by the progression system. I know it feels like RPG elements are being crammed into just about every genre nowadays, but I have to say the progression system in 31 in 1 Game Collection Volume 1 is an inspired idea. Each game has three tiers of achievement, bronze, silver and gold, and depending on which you attain, you'll be rewarded with experience. This experience then goes towards leveling up, and with each level up, a new game or two will be unlocked. The great thing about this system is that it means a few more games get added to the roster after a couple of rounds of the games you have unlocked, and faster than that a lot of the time. This keeps things fresh, and led to me and my friends playing a lot longer than we would have on anything like 1-2 Switch, which stagnates after a while. The progression system also adds a tangible reward to winning. That being said, there are some issues with 13 -1 Game Collection Volume 1. As a mix of party games, the collection gives you a brief overview of the controls you'll be using before you start playing the games. This is normally the various button prompts and a couple of sentences on how to play the game. It's on screen very briefly, and we found that at least one of our group missed the chance to read them each time. This led to someone being at disadvantage straight away, and getting annoyed at the game. Eventually, as we continued through the game, we would graduate from Bronze Mode to Silver Mode, and finally to Gold Mode. In each game, what constituted the change in difficulty varied massively, and often the jump from one mode to another seems like a much larger leap than it had been in previous games. Gold Mode was the worst for this, as occasionally the collection would just throw in an extra rule to throw us off our game. This would lead to a lot of shouting at the screen and complaining, but then someone would level up and we would move on to new games. Like I said in the beginning, it's hard to be a master of so many types of gameplay when dev time is divided in 30 different directions. However, I think 131 Game Collection Volume 1 is a great example that it can be done well. By trading off on well-known game tropes and styles, it offers a multiplayer experience that is sure to keep you and your friends entertained time after time. With the price coming in around the same as a brand new Blu-ray, I think it's a worthy investment if you have a regular games night. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, check out some of our other videos, and visit the NintendoVillage.com, your home for everything Nintendo.